So from a loading perspective initially, it shows us at the top there 2018 actuals and budgets on these accounts. So that's our starting point. So we've got our prior actuals and the budgets if we haven't actually got any actuals in there. Uh, so you can see what the actuals is, what our budget was, and we can see how that, that played out. Now, from our perspective at the bottom, this is what we need to generate. So we need to create our new budget to be able to you know, populate our budget for 2019. So this is the worksheet at the bottom that will populate and basically work on our budget. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. When, when we start the process, um, there's a number of things that we can do. So from a worksheet action, so this is something that happens across the entire worksheet, we can load or initialize a budget uh, we can round it, we can lock it, you know, export it, import it. So there's a number of things you can do there. From a line level, you can see we can add some lines. So, you know, basically this budget structure that we have at the bottom is loaded based on the budget that we had the previous year and any actuals on it. So there might be new accounts that was added or new cost centers that were added. So any of those type of things might not exist on that budget line. So if we add a new line, we can physically choose, you know, what we want to want to enter there that's not there currently. So importantly, if something is, I'm going to say, missing from your budget, you can add that line in there as well. Uh, there are options to to initialize the budget. So when we create this budget, you do have the ability to say, you know what, look at last year's actuals and bring that through, or look at last year's budget, bring that through, or look at, you know, either of them again. But bring that in with a with a two percent increase or a five percent increase. Any of those options are available as well.